Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar and the ribbon. So very quickly, the Quick Access Toolbar is this little toolbar that appears either on top of the ribbon or if you change the settings so you can have it below the ribbon. Sometimes it's down here. I'll put it back to the top because I don't like that. And you can populate this with your favorite icons. So instead of clicking on all these tabs to find something, once you've found it and you use it all the time, you can add it to the Quick Access Toolbar and then it's ready for use wherever you are. Now there are some preset options, which I've got some of them on. New, Open, Save, Email, Quick Print. You just tick these on and then they, they appear there or you right click and remove it um, print preview and print spelling ABC and stuff like that so this is just a quick way of putting these on sending a, a PowerPoint presentation by email is a quite useful little tool although bear in mind if you've got media embedded media and linked files it might not all go now there are two main ways of doing this you can go to more commands which takes you into PowerPoint options and then you've got quick access toolbar and then you've got a list at the top here popular commands commands not on the ribbon or commands once you find something that you want to add across you basically just scroll through this list and find something that you want you can just click on that and then add it across and it will appear there if you don't want it um, you can just remove it so it's as simple as that, add or remove. If you want to move this up or change the position, you can do that as well. So take a screenshot and screen recording, something I use all the time. So I'll just push that to the end. So there, and I don't really want that anymore. And when we click OK, you've reordered that and you've got the tools there so that's one way of doing it but the way I tend to do things if I find something that I quite like and I find that I'm using it quite often and if we're going to record for example export say I'm exporting to video quite often you could just right click on that icon and then add it to the top there now it will go to the end and if you want to move that along you can't actually drag that along you'll have to go back into the custom option and do what I just did before move it up and down using those two arrows now to customize the ribbon itself you can do the same thing you can go into more commands from there and then custom ribbon this option cancel that you can go file options to go into it that way and go into customize ribbon and you can right click on any tab and do customize ribbon and it just brings you straight there and the same features are available popular commands all commands you've also got macros which we haven't recorded but if you had any macros recorded you could add those across to a specific tab on this and you can also create your own tab so I can create a new tab if I just click on new You've got a new tab there and then you can name that tab if I go rename I'll just call that Steve okay and then within that tab you can have little groups these are the groups these little line dividing lines so if I go rename that first group um, admin admin stuff okay and then that's admin and then you can go a new group and rename that I'll call that um, video and then basically you add in items to those tabs if I go back to popular commands and I, I wouldn't be adding copy and paste but basically if I click on admin and then I've got copy I can add that over to admin and then the video option if I just type video or go to V's there's no V's there if I go to all commands might be some V's there 
yeah, video. So if I go video and then add that to this one, so video and then um, insert video maybe, add. So you just build up this, this tab that you've created by adding your favorites onto the ribbon. And then again, if you want to move this up you, to, to be, say, nearer the front, you can just move it up like so. I won't go for, I'll let home be first. And then you click OK. And then you've got home. And then you've got Steve with the two sections of groups that I created. Copy and video. So that's basically how you customize the quick access toolbar and how you customize the ribbon and create your own tabs. And you could also, if I go back into that for a minute, this customized ribbon, you can take off these ticks, which will then hide these tabs if you don't want all this stuff. If you find yourself never going on these things, you can just get just hide it, you don't have to show it. And then you've got this option down the bottom there of resetting everything, which will reset all your customizations. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that has been of use. And what I've talked about in PowerPoint applies to all the Office packages, Word, Excel, etc. You do the same sort of customizations. So thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.